Welcome to Watch Symposium. I'm Austin. All right, more predictions for watches and wonders. I've already talked about the Air King. Link in the description if you haven't seen my predictions about that. My second prediction has to do with the Milgauss. Now, the Air King and the Milgauss have always gone together. They're both three-handers. They're both simple watches. I want to say they both have the same movement. They both have the Faraday cage. For some reason, those two watches are linked and both are due for a movement upgrade. Now, the question is, when it comes to the Milgauss, are we going to see a visual change? And in my opinion, we're not going to. We're gonna see something very similar to the Explore 2 move where it pretty much looks the same aside from a coronet at the six between the Swiss and made to signify it's got the 32 movement. I think we're gonna see of course, the 32 movement put in the Milkhaus, but really no visual change. And that's because for a long time, visually, they haven't settled on a look for the Milkhaus. It's gone this way, it's gone that way. For a while, they had the white dial version. They discontinued that. Then they had the non-GV glass versions. And finally, they've settled on the GV glass blue dial and GV glass black dial. There are two models in the catalog. And I think we're gonna get those just with that coronet with updated movement, that's it. Now, we might get a new dial color. In fact, they really should do that because it would give us something to go crazy about. So I hope they do that. I think it's a great opportunity to, to make that happen. And uh, I think having three models in the Milgauss range would make a lot of sense. So let's hope that happens maybe they'll bring back the white dial i don't know how that would work with the gv glass but that could be kind of cool kind of beautiful white but kind of green or maybe just a color altogether different but i'm not thinking we're going to see anything really uh, blow your mind when it comes to the milkhouse now some people say that they're going to discontinue the milkhouse discontinue the air king that there's not a lot of reason to keep them in the in the lineup and I think I agree with that in the sense that there are a lot of watches that do everything those watches do but those two watches have a lot of identity um, now you know the Air King has a bit of an identity crisis but it's it's their sort of casual flyers watch not quite as hardcore as the GMT Master 2 and it's got a long history so I can't see them wanting to forsake that and the same thing with the Milgauss, it's the scientist's watch, it's the researcher's watch, and I don't think they're ready to give that up. And of course, those watches are selling like crazy, so there's uh, not a, a reason like, you know, they're not selling, they're not popular. Uh, so I think we're gonna see them continue, and I think it would be kind of weird if they, if they were to get rid of them. So, so I'm not expecting them to be taken out of the catalog. It would make the current versions really collectible. Uh, but, they, of course, that didn't happen with the discontinued turnograph. So you might see prices shoot up for a while, but then they might kind of come down and people might just say, hey, you know. But, of course, when the turnograph was discontinued, people didn't have Rolex fever like they do now. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. So I'm not expecting anything crazy to happen with the Milgauss. I think we're just going to get a new movement and a coronet between the Swiss and the Maid. And maybe if we're really lucky, a new dial color. All right, let me know what you think about the Milgauss or about the Air King or any other predictions you have for watches and wonders. Thank you for watching. Take care. See you next time.